Hi everyone, this is just a short video showing a couple of ways that you can find timesheets that may be needing some more service lines added and adjusted. Meaning, we have an example where we have an RBT who provided direct therapy from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., our BCBA came in and provided some supervision. It is important to note if you are converting or editing a timesheet that came from an appointment, you will not be able to manually add a service line. So we're here to show you some ways you can do that if you needed to add any more service lines for any, more, for any reasons. To start, there's two ways where you can find these overlaps to adjust. If you go to the billing module and then billing, you will be brought to the last seven days. So make sure that you choose the correct date range as well. So I'm going to look at the left-hand side and find my filters. Within that filter, I can see a section for audits. Once I open those audits, I can actually audit for overlap by client. So if I audit for overlaps by client, I will be given those billing entries. Then you would just click the gear sign to the right of the appointment with the RBT. So what we're going to do here is we're going to break this up so we can have billable time from 9 to 10 with the RBT and then billable time from 11 to 12 with the RBT. And then from 10 to 11, we're actually going to bill for our supervision with our BCBA instead of the RBT. So we need to go create a timesheet from 10 to 11 for non-billable time with our RBT so we can make sure that they also get paid for that time. To do so, go ahead and click the gear sign to the right of the timesheet with the RBT. We are going to edit the timesheet. Now it's important to note that you are gonna need billing administrative rights to do anything that we are mentioning here. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and put that billable time from nine to 10 instead of nine to 12. And I'm going to submit. So now we have our billable time from nine to 10 and 10 to 11. So now we need to go put in that non-billable time for the RBT and then the rest of the remaining billable time. So I'm going to click my bill, billing module and select add new timesheet. From there, fill in the information that you found on the appointment. If you do need to refer back to the scheduling for any reason, you definitely can. So my provider was Caroline and the date was the 18th. So I'm gonna go add my non-billable time first. For our organization, we have our non-billable time under the service codes column because it does not require an authorization. However, it could be different depending on your organization. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the time worked from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is when my supervision for my BCBA occurred. I don't want to bill for my RBT. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a service line at the top right because now I'm going to go ahead and add my remaining billable time. So it pulls in the client and the provider. I just need to go ahead and do the date of service and the authorized code that you want to use for that timesheet. Go ahead and do the body as you normally would and put in the time worked here from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. That was the remaining billable time that my BCBA was not supervising. So I scroll down and make sure if you do require a note template and it comes from the same note template that your RBT originally used in the beginning of the appointment, then you can actually select an existing note and choose the correct one for that date of service. That way you don't have to do any new note. Once you have filled in everything, you can go ahead and click the 
submit button at the bottom right corner. So now I have four timesheets. I have 9 to 11 a billable time for my RBT. I have 10 to 11 billable time for my BCBA. And I have 10 to 11 non-billable time for my RBT. And lastly, I have 11 to 12 billable time for my RBT. So everybody is getting paid for the time that they worked and we're only billing one part of that overlap. We're not billing for both providers.